Welcome back, players! Here we are in Nolens, right next to our lover, Mr. Watson. Hey, baby. You so short. You so fine. Give me a kiss. Mm. Why do your eyes match your suit? Anyway, enough making out. Let's go, uh, where were we going again? I think we were going to the rich parish. Let me see. Maps. I said maps. Guess M doesn't do anything. Ah, French district. So French. Oh, wee wee poo poo. Yeah, slowed. Aha. Here we are. It's so nice. No mosquitoes or anything. Ah, there's someone over there. Is this going to be racist? This is going to be racist, isn't it? I saw her ankles. What a beauty. She walks funny. Alright. Guess that means we could ring-a-ding-ding this doorbell. Hello? Ah, Watson, oh. It seems we have arrived at the place. Look there, on the iron door. Buffaloes! This is Buffalo Bill's house. This is... Not a good place to be. Alright. Let's get thrown in a hole. And Looks our skin's like no one is here, Holmes. It's a pity, Watson. This is our only lead. Okay. I'm watching you. I was watching you. Should I go over there? What do I do? Slowly making her way. Good morning, yeah. miss. Please don't be alarmed. We won't harm you, my dear. What is your name? Eula, sir. Lovely. When we arrived here, you were looking through this gate. This is the residence of Mr. Arnson, isn't it? Do you know him? Yes, sir. Do you know if he is at home? Don't write me now, sir. <laughs> Watson, come now, don't distress yourself like this. Why all these tears? Because of my little brother, Davy. He serves with Mr. Arneson and been more than five days since I heard from him. Perhaps he went on a trip with Mr. Arneson. No, sir. Dang likely. I serves at the Gallagher's just the other side of the road. If they had left, I would have seen them. Something bad has happened. I can feel it. But if you were so near, surely your brother would have cried out for help if there had been any real danger. No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's right smart in some ways. But Davy can't talk. Not a word. Besides, most evenings, we visits and sees each other across the stable door. And been more than five days since he'd been there. Oh, sir. I'd be mighty scared. Something has happened to him. I just know it. <laughs> Miss, take us to this stable. Watson, I think this place is indeed isolated and therefore quite vulnerable. There it be. I'm gonna go wait on the road. That way, if my mistress calls for me, I can hear. Yeah! Nolens. The staple of freedom. It is hardly secure, Watson. Regard the lock. It has a primitive wooden latch, which is also quite flimsy. Which means I can use the knife. Yeah. Bravo, Holmes. You'd figure a rich motherfucker would be able to afford a better lock, but no. Hello. Holmes, this horse is dying of thirst. Oh. Poor animal. He has had no water for these past five days, Watson. Unbearable. Poor horsey. Fuck the dead people. I just, I just want to fix the horsey. Make it better. He can barely move. All right. Got to find him some water. This should prove Nails. Useful. Whatever it's for. Can I take pliers? No. What about the anvil that I was so easily able to pick up before? Nope. Take a horseshoe? No. Hello, hello. Anybody home? 
Oh, how cute. It's a horse-drawn buggy. I hope this gate is not locked, because it appears quite formidable. Open! <gasps> He's like, Jesus! He opened the door with his words! My god, Sherlock! You're amazing! Holy sh- holy Sherlock! Now it can't be used for anything. Oh, don't tell me I can pick up a giant ass log later. That's ridiculous. All right. Got that area done with. Now I'm gonna go. Observe, Watson. These beautiful, well tended flowers. Someone must care for them. Uh. So someone's been coming by to tend to the flowers, but they haven't noticed that the the homeowner is gone. I I just don't get it. Water. Water. We have to find a way to get it so we can bring it to the horsey. <gasps> horsey needs water. Footsteps. Let's see. Oh. Entrepreneur. Some footsteps or marks. Not clear enough to make out. Let's see if there are others. Blood. However, given the small amount, the wound should be superficial. Wait, this is interesting. There's a trace of mud here. Okay. Some footsteps or marks. What about this one? Some footsteps or marks. What about this? Blood. How Traces of mud. Blood. Traces However, of mud. Is there... Ah, uh, this one, maybe? No? This Some one? footsteps or marks. Okay, so I guess I have to move on and find more. Lou? Lou? <gasps> Wait. Ah, Holmes! There are th We must turn back, Watson. Or All right. Don't want to be devoured by the mosquitoes. Footsteps? <gasps> Hi, little guy! Look, Holmes! A raccoon! Come here, you little rascal! Raccoons are actually bastards, you want to though. Too close, Watson. Though the little imps are rather inquisitive by nature. Oh man, I could tell funny stories, but Footsteps. I won't bore you. Let's see. Watson, regard the traces in the soil. A body was dragged here recently. Undoubtedly, it was a man of great size. How can you tell it was a body More and not like a trunk or something? A person wearing shoes thick with fresh mud entered the garden by this gate. They entered the house and then returned, dragging a body back along the way. This erased some signs of their former movements, but not entirely. Fortunately, I have a particular talent for tracing footsteps. A neglected art indeed. Alright. In the artisan's garden, I found several elements which indicated that a person whose footwear was battered with fresh muck entered the garden. And okay, so they either just got off of, like... Got out of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 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 brain fart, Jesus Christ. They either just got out of, like, the swamp, or they just got done gardening. So it was probably the gardener maybe murdered somebody. Can I open this? Yay! What a wretched smell, Holmes. Uh-oh, dead baddie. Quite wretched, Watson. It is the foul stench of death. Uh-oh. Blood! Yep. Follow the footsteps. Follow the footsteps. The body was dragged from behind this door. So he got murdered in the dining room with a candlestick. Blood. Uh oh. This looks really bad. I'm okay. Oh. Watson, what do you make of this? What a horrific sight. It has lain here for at least a week. On the contrary, Watson, once again you see, but fail to observe. The uh. warmth of the local climate and the exceptional humidity undoubtedly sped up the rate of decomposition. Based upon my calculations, the body has been here for five days. Which is exactly the amount of time that kid's been missing! Is this the kid, or...? This looks like a full-grown man, so... I don't know, but... This must be Anson. He appears fond of cigars. He looks like fucking Teddy Roosevelt. Awesome! He just murdered a bear! And that must be the bear. Hi, bear! Oh, you don't look so happy now, Mo. Actually, you never looked happy. You looked just dead. Sad. 
papers were burned, and great care was taken to destroy everything of any value to our case. We will find nothing further in this place. Except photographs of a doggy. Oh, and ladies, and ladies with babies, and more ladies, and hunting, more hunting. Candlestick, you are the murder weapon. Can't click it though, apparently. Uh. Anything in here? Ooh, I'm gonna steal your champagne. Maybe this will satisfy that old man of the same name. Can I open this door? No, that's it? Really, you don't want to take the rest of his liquor, which is probably awesome? Oh, there's the candlestick that murdered him. There's the yes. candlestick that murdered him. Oh, I am beyond awesome. Interesting. The person who sat here was fond of cigars. So it was Arneson. He was... Hit in the head with a candlestick and kidnapped? They killed the man who was sitting there, and the trail of blood begins here. So this would be the body they dragged through the gate. Uh-oh. There's no hope of finding Arnis and we're fucked. This blood on the ground came from a deep wound. Yeah, uh, okay. I cannot budge the handle. They must have lodged something behind it to hold fast the door. Shh, Watson, listen. Whoever you are, open up. We mean you no harm. Open the door for God's sake. It's a matter of life or death. This is useless, Holmes. Watson, your sensibility is appreciated. We shall come back later. Yeah, because if even Watson says it's useless, These footsteps it's pretty indicate useless. a person of small stature, and the fact that they are so closely set suggests they made their way with great stealth. So either the kid killed him, or the kid just ran screaming behind the door, maybe. What's this? Someone placed their hand near this footstep. Judging by the size of the fingers, it seems to be a youth. Why would they lean down here? Of course, to pick something up. Okay. And then? That's it? That's all I need to know? Okay. Blood. Okay, this is where I came in, right? I think. A kitchen. It was the maid in the kitchen with the noose. Or something. Tangerines. Ah! Spooky! Ew. Le cucaracha. Le cucaracha. Don't know the rest of the lyrics. Da, 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 da. I'll take this big knife, I guess not. Ah, it's a ham. What a delectable aroma. If only I were hungry. I detect sarcasm in that, Mr. Detective. Is that a tattoo on the hand now? Do you see that? The little grabby hand? It looks like there's a tattoo on it. Ah, it's a ham. Ah, it's a ham. So I can't knife the ham? Okay. Um, okay. Ooh! Ooh, a dish for the horsey! Watson, hold the basin. I think you know what to do with it. Why are you making me do this? What the fuck? I'm not your footman. I'm a doctor. I went to college, Sherlock. Something you never did, I bet. Curse, i Why do I even hang out with this asshole? Gonna go... Freaking feed the horsey and make it all better, and it's gonna be no thanks to you, you bastard. Should've gone to veterinary school. Open! I'm magical too, see? I don't need Sherlock's help. There you go, my fucker. Easy now, fellow. Drink up. I see a hammer. What yes. What could this be doing here? Yes, 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 yes. Drink it, horsey. Drink it, drink it, drink it. Oh, he's so precious. Yeah. Oh, I made you all better now, didn't I? Let's check your butt. You're all good. All right. Yeah. Why can't I pet you? Let me pet you. Yeah. Sure, no thanks from you either. Muttering. Alright, let me go. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. No, okay. 
go around the ah. Why build a wraparound porch if it's not going to wrap all the way around? Why? I just I don't understand it. Goddamn French people and your Frenchness. Where's the kitchen? I'm gonna go to the kitchen. Let me in. Here you are, Watson. Yep. Now I'm awesome again. And I have a hammer. What do I do with the hammer? Can I, uh... What is this? Okay, that's the bad room. Don't want to go in the bad room. Can I knock down this door? No? Okay. What now? Oh. Alright, cool. I have another landmark. Dear Mr. Onison, it was a rare pleasure to encounter your extraordinary altruistic attitude toward your employee, young Davy. Few would have made the effort to discover the truth of his affliction, and most would have discharged this boy from their services without hesitation. Oh wait, no, it was New Orleans, so it would be like, It is unfortunate that Dr. Callagher, Callagher? who has expertise in these matters, is also your neighbor. Without this intervention, it is doubtful he would have been introduced, and then you would not have had the answers about this young man that you have been seeking. Ugh. It's too hard to do accents and read at the same time. First, I will tell you that Davy's problems are psychological rather than physical. As you have already noticed, he, re he hears and understands perfectly well. A medical examination also revealed that his vocal organs are unimpaired. The final diagnosis is that a psychological trauma or mental blockage is what prevents him from speaking. As for your anecdote concerning the coins and discovery of the incredible talent that this young man seems to have for figures, maybe he is autistic. It reminds me of similar child prodigy cases. I have requested their files from my colleagues and have and hope to learn more all i can say now is that your employee has a phenomenal memory for figures that an adapted teaching program could be able to uh, could enable him to exploit his this talent further and benefit his community best regards all right cool you know i do not think they had as liberal of a view about uh, black children back then as they do in this game but uh, let's play pretend why don't we fauna and flora of Louisiana because the alligators are not the most fearsome predators according to visitors all agree that mos mosquitoes are the worst enemy of man in Louisiana no one knows how many different varieties of mosquitoes haunt the surrounding swamps and lowlands but the most common are hematophage hematophage Hematophages? Uh, oh, yeah, because uh, they're attracted to blood. Attracted by mammals' body warmth, the smell of blood from wounds or sweat, they can quickly swarm in clouds of several thousand and attack their target with the same effectiveness as School of Piranhas. Look, fauna and flora of the Amazon. Okay. Every year they cause numerous deaths among cattle of Fortunately, deaths among people are rare. The natives shared with us some of their local recipes to avoid this plague. The most efficient and common method consists of applying some lemon juice. Okay. That looks like that's going to come in handy later. And here's a raccoon, so this is going to give me a hint, 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 hint. Though the behavior of raccoon in Louisiana is very similar to his brothers from the forests of the East Coast, there are a few differences. There are many unique predators of the raccoon in the wilds of Louisiana, notably certain kinds of aquatic snakes. Because of this, raccoons in this region take their meals in a nest, usually placed in the branches of a tree or at any height, which is easily approachable by the raccoon, well known for its agility, but also out of easy reach of their enemies. Carry-on is a main part of their diet. Particularly if speaking, what? Particularly if speaking of a female with small kits. Oh, kits! Her need for additional protein to sustain her milk production makes it carry on a particularly good source of food. So it looks like I really uh, am gonna a have book to. on the fauna and flora of Louisiana. Gonna have to use that ham. So uh, let's get this fantastic hunt tales by D. Niles. Ha! <laughs> Wordplay. 
uh, are much more, of course, but it is an African swallow. But our most disturbing tale about wild creatures of marshes and swamps comes from the internet. Blah, 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 blah. Disappearance, fierce and beasts of swamps, blah, blah, blah. Mm, killing beasts and terrorizing his workers. These freed men worked in his fishery and blah, 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 blah. I tied his men in a port of finding mutilated and half eaten bodies of men floating out from the swamp, and even more alarming young women had also been mysteriously disappearing. Da, 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 da. Sacrificial rights, blah, 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 blah. He knew from personal experience that alligators rarely attack humans when fish and natural food are readily available. He also rejected the notion that sacrificial rights were involved, blah, 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 blah. Refused to enter the swamp, even to withdraw their gear, adding to the tension their rumors of a grotesque and scaly silhouette seen by a fisherman in the distant fog. Ward was offered a large sum to hunt down presumed beasts, blah 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 blah. The next two weeks they searched the swamp, leaving early in the morning and coming back late at night. One evening Ward came back anxious and excited. He said they discovered a trail deep in the swamp. Oh my god, this is a lot of shit to read. Worst of all were the terrible, strange scars that covered his entire body. Their symmetry resembled the work of some deranged artist or madman. Kind of like that guy that uh, with the beard in the place. That was weird. Though many thought the opposite, the authorities decided that Ward had inflicted these marks upon himself and locked him in a cell, saying he must surely be insane. After doctors examined, <laughs> that's not the first reaction that would happen, but whatever, whatever, let's, I'll play your game. I will play along and pretend. <laughs> oh yeah, he must be insane. After doctors examined him, he was officially judged to be mad and sent to the mental hospital in Baton Rouge. Are we going to another mental hospital, really? There he remained locked up until the end of his short life. He spent the last few months of his life there eating only raw fish and screaming to all who could hear that they had saved him. He cried out that he was the one he was one with them and he spoke to him in a dream and his awakening was soon to come. Ooh, he was awakened. Another historical tale even more disturbing comes to us from British moors where a white rabbit blah blah blah. This book has been read often. Tales of Fantastic Hunts by Dean Niles. Interesting. What do you think of this, Watson? What do you make of this, Holmes? That's what I just asked you, bitch. A cylinder. This metal tube is approximately 40 centimeters in length and 18 in diameter. It bears a small tag which reads, This one without defect. My sincere apologies, E. Otis. What the devil are you doing, Holmes? Stealing shit? Hmm, <laughs> that's what I do best. Nice painting. The player's corner. In order to wind up this unique watch, you need to find the figures corresponding to those of the clock according to the same logic. Two digits are already marked to help you figure out what method to use. Blah, blah, blah. Ten, four. Seven and two. Four and eleven. Okay, yeah, that's, that's easy. That's way easy. Solutions on the last page. Why don't I have the last page? Five days ago. Someone has torn the last page. Oh. Well, it seems Anson tried his hand at a small riddle in this newspaper. How strange. He does not seem the type to take interest in mathematical conundrums. You calling him stupid? Because he probably is. Ah, lemons! I take you. prove useful. Yes. How can you take a whole fucking tree, but you couldn't take those four goddamn pipes? Closed tight. You son of a bitch. Okay, there must be another way in. Get in. Okay. Open up. Yep. Closed tight. Damn it. All right. What else can I do? Whoever you are, open up. This is useless, home. Sure What's is. in your sensibility? All right. Maybe we should leave. Maybe we should leave. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to fucking... Oh, wait. Can I cut the meat now? Ah, it's a ham. What a... Okay. 
Ah, exactly. I guess I, I guess I can't. All right, cool. Well, now I can go outside, and uh, there you go. Cause I have lemons, lemons, lemon pledge. Need more lemon pledge. Or you can use the fucking lemons. Lemons. Wait. Combine this with this. No? Why not? Why? 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 I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh! Are these useful for something? This should prove useful. Right on! What for though? What for? Do not understand. Hello? Maybe I need to go up. Oh. I can't even go. Sorry, I keep yawning. I haven't drank in my morning coffee. Oh, I can't even go into the frickin' garden. Closed tight. Arr. Clearly, I'm missing something, but what? What am I missing? Up the stairs. Open. Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? This is why I wish I could crouch, though, because then you can see stuff from a different angle. And it's nice. And. And. And stuff. How do I. Hold on. <gasps> Maybe I can open the door with this. I cannot do this. You can't? But why? What about this? Whoever you are, open up. This is useless, home. Yeah. Watson, your sensibility. All right, Watson, you motherfucking sure. Maybe I haven't looked at all the clues yet. <gasps> Are you shitting me? I had to look at the body. All right. Let's examine the hands. They are calloused with traces of dirt under the nails. This would be the gardener, no doubt. I just assumed that, but you know. Let's examine that. Let's examine the hand. Okay. All right. That's pretty much everything. Holmes! Here. What? 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 You are clearly a witch. I'm going to stab you. What do you make of this, Holmes? I make that you're a witch, and you should be burned at the stake, and leave me alone. No! Don't come near me! Don't come near me! Okay, well, this is a code, and... Hold on. Um, 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 um. It's this, obviously. Uh, one eight. Two seven. Three nine. Hmm, very interesting. One eight. Two seven. Okay. Oh! One eight two seven three nine four eleven four ten yeah wait ten four nine three eight one seven two hmm very interesting uh, wait twelve six one eight wait twelve six one eight two so wait i'm i'm confused i'm gonna have to pause the video here and i'll be right back 